Okay, so you hit your calories, but you're under on your macros, right? That's what your MyFitnessPal says. Or vice versa. You hit your macros, but you're under on your calories, or your calories don't add up, or you're over on your calories, right? So, sometimes they don't add up. The macros and the calories, they just don't add up. Why? My fitness pal, or maybe a different a variation, a different app that you're using, they like to round. Why do they like to do this? I don't know. And it's really annoying. So they like to round. Sometimes you can be super spot on. Like I hit my protein, I hit my carbs, I hit my fast, but I'm over on my, my calories or I'm under. Should I eat more because I'm under on my calories? You're not under on your calories. Most likely what my fitness pal did is it took something that was 10 grams of, let's say 40 calories, right? And like 42 calories, I mean 42 grams and it just rounded it off and it put like, oh, it's a, it's 120 calories, but it was actually 127 calories. Little things like that, but as you know, like throughout the day, it can add up. So what I want you to focus on is the macros. This is the annoying part and this is why these apps need to fix it because I get really annoyed. Sometimes it's, it's confusing on like how much do I really have left? Also, if you're not someone that hits to the gram or that maybe you need to pull from fats and you know nine grams of fats, uh, one gram of fat is nine calories, right? It's easy to pull from carbs and fats from carbs and proteins because they're both four calories. So you pull 10 from one, add 10 to another, vice versa, okay? But when it comes to fats, if you're super over fats, like 15 grams or whatever it's not super over but whatever <laughs> you're really over um your fats you're gonna have to do the math okay so if you're not really sure how many calories you have left literally just take what you have and just plug it into your calculator i know it can be annoying but it really doesn't take that long okay so if you want to know how many calories you have left or where you can plug remaining calories let's say from fast or where you need to pull calories from, just do the math. So take your proteins, take your fats, take your proteins, take your carbs, multiply them by four, okay? Then take your, I said it again, proteins, carbs, four. <laughs> fats, nine. So do the math. So if you're at 100 for each, take your protein times four, Take your carbs times four, add those up, take your fats at times nine, add all of those up. That's the amount of calories that you actually had for the day. Don't pay attention to the other one. If you want to use it as that general sense of, you know, you're in this ballpark, but again, it can round so significantly or very minimally. So if you ever are confused, if you've hit all your macros and you've done the math, you're, you're close to your calories, that's fine. Okay, so... You don't have to think, oh my God, I'm under, which which number I should I think of? Or which number should I be following? Follow your macros. You need to do the math, do the math. Takes a couple seconds, All right? If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, take this as a learning process. You know, you're not gonna be perfect. As I say, you're not gonna be perfect right away, all the time, but just take it as the time goes.